Hey everyone, welcome back to more PAX Unplugged 2018 coverage with the Cardboard Herald. This is day three and I'm here with Chuck Pint of SFR at the SFR booth. How's the con going, man? It's going pretty good. We've been giving a lot of demos. The demo tables were full almost all day yesterday. And are people really excited about Dragon Dice? I mean, you got a lot of things going on right now. The Kickstarter just happened. You got 4.0 rules. What are people talking to you about? Well, an awful lot of it is the usual. Oh, I thought this was dead. <laughs> no, we're not dead. <laughs> We're right here and we're selling and we've been selling since 2000. And people are actually like getting interested in the dice? Are you seeing lots of people sitting down to do demos? What has been people's excitement? Mostly it's the dice. They see the dice. They want to stop. They want to roll them. They want to play with them. And so it's all about the dice. And I know that you guys have been going to conventions for ages. Uh, this is your second time at PAX Unplugged. You definitely have a much bigger presence at PAX Unplugged this year, which is great to see. Do you feel that there's any different vibe to PAX in general or this year in particular? Well, PAX is a different convention than Gen Con or Origins or some of the other smaller conventions we've been to. No question about it. But it, I think it's going to really take off. It's just in its second year. Give it a year or two, it'll, it'll really be big. Yeah, I definitely think this is going to be one of the giants of the industry for sure. So I know that you guys are still working on all the things that you were doing with the most recent Kickstarter, but I heard that you guys might have some announcements for Dragon Dice, and I know people are really amped up about that, and the fan base is rabid for news on what new things SFR has going on. As everybody that backed us knows, we made that really super stretch goal, and we're going to do the Feral. And we've had such great luck with the backer kit, so after the Kickstarter ended, we've been raising so much more money, we've decided to do a third kicker. We're going to bring back Scalders. That's fantastic. I mean, Scalders are definitely a fan favorite. I mean, for me, the Feral announcement was like, I, I was just overjoyed with that because Feral are my guys. Well, them and Amazons. But I, I think that having Scalders back available, that's going to make so many people happy. You personally are a Feral guy in tournaments, but uh, do some of the SFR guys, are you real Scalder diehards? Oh, yeah. There's um, quite a few of them out there that are real Scalder diehards. And, uh, you know, you mentioned Amazons. We're hoping that's next summer's Kickstarter. Oh, that's going to be incredible. And plus, with the return of the Scalders, you get the return of one of the more rare dice in the entire game itself. That's Unsealy Fairy, right? It's pretty rare. It is hard to find. All right. Well, thank you for taking the time to talk with me, Chuck. I'm so glad that you are bringing Dragon Dice to the people. For all of you at home, if you're interested in Dragon Dice, we have all sorts of Dragon Dice content on our channel, including the official how to play the starter rules of 4.0, and there's always more content coming. So please stay tuned, and thank you, Chuck. People can check out SFR at what website? SFR-inc.com. And there is a fantastic SFR Facebook group, too. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Chuck. If you enjoyed this video, we have all kinds of other reviews, interviews, and recommendations via writing, podcasts, and video here on our channel and website, CardboardHerald.com. Our content is audience-supported, so if you want to show your support, please visit our Patreon. Thank you so much for watching. This has been the Cardboard Herald.